Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you how to customize your Windows XP installation with Inlight. You can do it with XP Professional Home Edition, Media Center Edition, or 64-bit Professional and Windows Server 2003. And I will do another one for Windows 2000 as well. Well, first off, you want to set your language to English first before getting started. And this program is freeware, and it you can get it at nlightos.com. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click Next. Then you want to go to Click Browse to find all your files from your Windows XP disk. Because I already got the files from my Windows XP CD. This is one I had to use for other a different netbook which is for an Acer, but this is going to an Asus EEE PC. I'm going to go ahead and go to next. Before, if you're going to use reinstall XP on a, on a netbook, but one thing, if your copy has Service Pack 1, be sure to go download Service Pack 3 and you can integrate it. And if you want to in you integrate hot fixes and add-ons and update packs, this is one thing that you can't integrate. In you cannot integrate Internet Explorer 8. The only programs you can in only integrate so is Internet Explorer 7 and Windows Media Player 11 and any other updates. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to Components. That's certain things we can remove. We're going to go ahead and click Next. Here's some of the things I started off. And yeah, this is my third take. Certain things you want to remove is like accessibility options, because for the person that, what would they use their netbook for? Because they have an eight gigabyte solid state drive. If you see a thing that's in red, that means caution. I'm trying to do it like how, like the older version of Windows, how they used to have certain stuff. For drivers, let's see, we don't you we're not it's not like they're gonna be using scanners. Tape drives. IBM PS2 track point. Printers. Serial pen tablet. See Logitech Wingman. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pause till we get to the next phase. Now I'm back as it's recording. Okay, for languages, whatever language you're not going to be using, we can go ahead and we're going to place a check. We're going to keep Western Europe and the United States. For multimedia, we're going to go ahead and remove music samples. Some wallpapers and background. There's no need for that. Some of the window sounds. 
But we probably gotta keep that. Just in case. There's some other stuff that you gotta be real careful. Like the tool, we're gonna remove that. Let's see. Document template. What about services? We don't want to mess with automatic updates or beep driver. And this is the other stuff that you gotta be real, real, real careful. Don't want to mess with directories. I'm going to go ahead and click next. It's going to ask you if you want to do this process. We're going to hit no. But actually, we want to hit yes. It's going to do its thing. And then we'll go ahead and pause while it's taking care, getting the business taken care of. Okay, as you see, it reduced some of the files down to 187.85 megabytes. Then we gotta go back. We're gonna do the performance tweaks on in light. And you just go through the same procedure as from the first step. back to the last session. So far we're gonna set we're gonna do a few little things we're gonna customize. Now we're going to be doing the unattended. So we're going to go ahead and leave block the key real quick. Yep, O O B E. pop up and tell you so let's see if we can go to GUI attended and go ahead and we can put OEM branding enabled Let's say we're going to go ahead and we're going to put black background, yes. Classic, yes. The performance. And okay, we're going to do some tweaks. Let's see for visual effects. I'm going to place a check on all of them. So we ain't gonna use cursor shadow. Just like go to the ones you want and we're gonna go ahead and pause. So now we gotta re we're gonna redo the process. Uh, Refinalize everything. 
make a few little changes and um then right here will be good to go and then I'm gonna go ahead and install it on this little netbook. back to inlaid as usual. And go back to the same procedure. follow the um, process and you'll have your Windows XP your Windows XP light then and I hope this is able to help you out so if you got any questions just comment or message me and I'll talk to you later see ya